Peace is Brother Polite. I got a lot of questions. So I'm going to break it up in different videos. But my first question, my main question is where are all the guns? I see plastic bottles being thrown. I see rocks being thrown. Never mind the fact they're allowing us to burn down precincts with no police coming. No National Guard. They just let us burn down a goddamn police precinct. Where are the guns at? And I'm not asking for anyone to hurt anybody. I'm not advocating any of that. This is what I'm saying. We were just having and still have a problem with gun violence in our community. Gang members nationwide are still presently banging on each other. But right now, with this riot, you can hear a rat piss on cotton. Where are the gang members meditating? Where the hell are the gang members? The reason why I'm asking this question, I got a lot of questions. But the reason why I'm asking this question is because <clears throat> when my brothers are mad at other black people, you know what they say? They say, this is no fly zone. You know, when our people are making money, they say, yo, we're going to show up in front of your concert and you better not pull up because we're going to kill your ass. You know, people be telling me out here in Chicago, we don't play. Watch what you say about gang members, polite. Yo, in L.A., we don't play those games, polite. I know you're from Brooklyn. This is what they say to me. And the Brooklyn brothers, they all killing each other, too. Where are the guns at? I see plastic bottles being thrown. I don't see one goddamn bandana on nobody. I don't see the bandana. The niggas who raise hell and terror amongst each other in their community. Where the hell are you at? You guys were crying about 6ix9ine being a snitch because he broke the G code. Gangsters don't do no shit like that. He broke the G code. Everyone was concerned. No one gave a damn that he was allowed by black gang members to project genocidal themes in his lyrics and also outside the music industry. In the real world. Y'all ain't give a hell about that. He said, polite, you condone the snitch? And I'm, I'm just saying, like, yo, hold on, bro. Something's prerequisite. The, the man was over here leading the charge and black people shooting other black people. But fine. I just want to know where the hell the guns are at. I'm not telling no one to shoot anybody. I'm just saying, our brothers have been shooting each other at every opportunity they get. I just want to know, if we're not supposed to snitch, because that's part of the G-code, right? And I, I, I got the damn paperwork for the G-code right here. Here's the paperwork. Uh, no fly zone. That's when Negroes who don't own the airport, the airlines, they tell you when you can land and when you can't land. You can't come in this city no more. That's what the Negroes say. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> oh, what's the other one? Check in. You got to check in. If you don't call the local hood that doesn't own the real estate, you can't come on their block or on anyone else's block because you got to check in. You definitely can't snitch. Don't tell nobody that I'm responsible for shooting another black man. Keep that on the hush. These are all the G-codes. But I don't see anything in the G-code, people. I got the paperwork. I don't see any G-code here that says allow the white man to kill your black ass. And when he kills your black ass, still keep black people as number one on the priority list of your murders. Babies are getting killed, stray bullets. <clears throat> Young ladies getting killed, stray bullets. You guys been banging and talking about who can land where. Talking about this damn G-code. Who should a snitch? Niggas should get killed for snitching. You guys are murdering each other. But for the life of me, the brothers who got the guns that turn them on each other. Has someone told you guys? Has someone reprimanded you for being a revolutionary at heart? What the hell is going on in the gang community? 
I don't want to hear shit about who's a fucking gangster. I don't want to hear it no more. I don't want to hear shit about no damn G-checking when our own people can be murdered at the hands of this goddamn cracker. And y'all gonna turn around when this shit is over and go back to killing each other. Y'all the most quiet motherfuckers and weirdest niggas on the planet Earth. The whole fucking gang community need to put their OGs back in alignment. Or throw the whole goddamn community away. Throw the whole goddamn community away. See, we want to complain about the white man doing what he has been doing since time immemorial. Destroying nations, stripping people of a thorough knowledge of self, raping, robbing, pillaging, and castrating. Now, I'm not saying all white people have that in their heart and their soul, but certainly the world is no stranger to black people dying at the hands of the white race. Certainly, we're no strangers. But I'm going to tell you this. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you guys this. Are the gang members missing because they're afraid they're going to get the coronavirus or something? You know, you guys can practice social distancing by busting your gun. You don't have to wear a mask or nothing. You can be six feet away. You can be six feet away. And practice social distancing while you bust your fucking gut. Now, I'm not telling nobody to kill anybody. I'm just saying black people shouldn't be on your priority list of killers. If 1100 plus years of the trans-sub-Saharan slave trade wasn't enough for you to suffer the consequence of being double castrated and, and, and suffer the consequence after walk on hot sand. Miles and miles away at the hands of Arab imperialism. And if it wasn't enough for the white man to pick up a better slavery model, monetize it, become a better slave master, and have us in subjugation for over 400 plus years, if that didn't get under your goddamn skin, this racial animus being perpetrated against our people, this violent aggression being perpetrated against our people, the police department are contract killers. They don't get a, they don't get incarcerated. There's a contract. There's an agreement there. You got to learn how to deal with contract killers. I ain't say to kill them. I'm just saying you got to understand that they're on contract so they can get away with killing. You got to understand how this works. This is why we have a community called New Covenant, which is the community, but SARS is our movement. Not SARS as in severe acute respiratory syndrome, but self-administering reparations, scientifically. Because you have to be able to identify yourselves as a race, which is to establish two things. Your previous condition of servitude, and then as a collective, once you establish your previous condition of servitude, you leverage the events and circumstances that you don't want to revisit, and therefore, that is the impetus for you to establish your political legal disposition. So in light of what has transpired in the past, this is what we will not do in the future. Rioting is one thing. A plan for action and organization after the emotion is another. My brothers and sisters, you've done your rioting. Get the hell out them streets. Get organized. Stop tweeting how much you sad and you know, you know, God be with his family. I hear all of that. I hear all of that. And you don't want to organize with each other because he believe in Allah and, and he believe in God or Jesus Christ. I get it. So you can't organize. Like that white man said, yo, which religion are you part of before I murder you? So while Allah and Jesus is playing rock, paper, scissors, and both of them get scissors at the same damn time. They, play, they both get scissors at the same damn time. You two Negroes can leave. But everybody else that's serious about organizing, serious about the mobilization of our people, come walk with me. There's a smarter approach towards our evolution. I am the evolution of the revolution.